Hello everyone. So today, we're going to be taking a quick look at the overall durability of my Sony cameras. So this black one is a Cybershot DSC-WX500 and was purchased around 9 months ago. And this silver one is a DSC-WI30 and was purchased almost 4 years ago. So the current day today is January 30, 2022 at the time of recording. And this is the oldest one. It was purchased on February 17, 2018. And if I ask Siri over here, how long ago was February 17, 2018? It was three years. So, ago. almost four years ago. And that's pretty cool. So we're gonna take a look at the overall condition of the cameras and the original accessories since I have them right here. First, let's start off with a newer camera. So after nine months of usage, how are the accessories? Well, they held up really well. The wrist strap is fine. Here's a quick look at it. And this is the only accessory that I use outdoors. So because of the pandemic, the charger is just kept at home at all times, and that's why it's in perfect condition. No issues there. Let's put this aside and take a look at the camera. Taking a look at the camera, it's in pretty good condition since it's mainly here at home recording YouTube videos. If we open the lens like this and zoom in, you'll see that it's pretty good. Okay, no issues there. Now there are a few things I noticed. We'll get to that in a moment. So if I flip it around over here to the side, it also held up pretty well on the side. And this port over here, this door, I mean, the flap, held up really well. It didn't break off or anything. And if you take pretty good care of your camera, you won't have any major issues with it. Now the things that I did notice are, first, these symbols over here, like the text, starts to fade away. Okay, so I'll give you a closer look. For example, this one over here that says movie, it's starting to fade away. Take a look at that. So it doesn't really say movie anymore. And some of these other ones are also starting to fade. Then the screen gets scratched really easily. So if you'll notice, I actually have a plastic screen protector that I just cut and then stuck onto it. And I usually don't recommend using screen protectors, but for this scenario, I would highly recommend getting one if you're concerned about scratching the screen. Since it doesn't have any raised border around it, so if you place it like this, then the screen is going to scratch. So that's the things I noticed about it. But otherwise, it's a really durable camera and nothing has broke. No major issues, just cosmetic issues. So let's take a look at the next camera. Now, let's take a look at the older camera after almost four years of usage. So first, looking at the accessories over here, here's the original charger and the wrist strap. Now the wrist strap looks used and worn, to be expected. There we go. Now here's a quick comparison to the new one. I don't want to take too long on the wrist strap, but there you go. Okay. And these are really easy to wash and clean or disinfect. So you can easily wash them in the sink with soap. We have the charger and this held up really well, no issues. Works perfectly fine. I put some cable protectors. These are pretty cheap and a really good way to prevent your cable from bending. So if you travel, like charge it in a car, on a plane, using a power bank, put it in your bag, and then it's gonna prevent it from bending. So that, just like that. Let's put this aside and take a look at the camera. So this camera is made of plastic and metal. At the front, the plastic held up really well, and there are a few scratches around the metal ring. So if I do a close up, you'll see a few dents and scratches. Now overall, the lens works. And this lens was replaced because there were a few issues with the camera. I'll get to that in a moment. Here's a quick look at the lens. Okay. And then this chrome stuff gets scratched pretty easily. Here's a quick look at some of the scratches. Just see around over here and over here on the right side. Also on the left side. And there are a few scratches around the body so you can just see the color fading but compared to the other camera the screen held up really well since it has this raised border around it so that way if you put your camera like this then your screen isn't directly touching the surface so it won't get scratched it's only the sides around will get scratched okay so about the few issues with this camera i had a few issues a few months ago before the warranty expired so the main issue was that these buttons over here stopped working and I couldn't switch between the modes. So it was glitching out and I brought it to the Sony service center 
and they replaced the buttons for free. That was really good, now the issue is resolved. And they also replaced the lens, I'm not sure why since there was no explanation, but that's also new. And at the moment, I have no issues with those parts, but there is one issue that the camera has. So if I turn it on over here just like this and go and turn on the flash, okay, so the flash is on right now, and I take a picture with the flash, the flash doesn't work anymore. And there are two possible reasons for this. It could be that the flash, the flash itself has failed and stopped working, or the battery is failing. And I have a feeling that this could be to the battery since the battery doesn't hold the charge for long and it might not be powerful enough to activate the flash. So that's just my theory. And obviously I'm not sure if that's the correct one, but the battery is almost four years old, just like the camera. So it's probably time to get a replacement. Now, speaking about replacement, this is really good since both of these cameras have user replaceable batteries. So if I go like this and remove the battery. So if I remove the battery just like this, you'll see that you can purchase an extra battery just like this one and then plug it in. So this is the battery type. And if I can find one in the future, I'll definitely buy a replacement battery so I can use this as a second camera or as an extra camera. It's really useful. But at the moment, it works pretty well, even if the battery life is really short. So I just use this to take personal photos since that's a really nice telephoto lens if you want to take pictures of zoomed in subjects like birds and other objects compared to the phone where my phone doesn't have a telephoto lens. So that's my main use case for this camera at the moment and also as a B camera for second angles for some of my YouTube videos. Now lots of the recent videos you may have seen like the tutorial I made on how to take live photos with your iPhone. The second angle was filmed using this camera and the first angle, the overhead angle, was filmed using this camera. So it still works pretty good after four years. And overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the durability of both of these cameras. Now this is the only one that I had issues with, but they were replaced and Sony fixed the buttons for me. So it's pretty good. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And please like and subscribe for more. It helps support the channel. So, thanks for watching.